isn't it? It's hardly morning. It's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon and everybody's been busy. So um, Candy's working, Carly's upstairs. I'm making dinner. We are having hobo dinner on the stove. We have Polish kielbasa, sausage, and then there's fresh kielbasa in the bottom, and cabbage, potatoes, carrots, and then we're doing two. I did most of the potatoes here, but I put the other stuff in there because it gives it flavor. Usually you make a big, big giant five gallon deal, but we're making small dinner, and then you cook the corn last. And then I started this last night, homemade jerky. It's cooking. I marinated it. I make usually three different kinds and they're all on different levels. Use like A1 steak sauce and some of them and some of them are honey and so the beef jerky's cooking. That'll be more for Chase's tournament on Saturday. He can't eat it now because it has too much salt in it. What have you been doing? Working. Working. You want to you want to see what she's been doing? Can't read my notes. Can't read her notes. Private. private notes with her boyfriends. <laughs> The pups need to go outside. Let's go outside, pups. Typical uh, Groundhog's Day here in Michigan. See this? This is what we call Groundhog's Day. The same thing over and over and over. Gray, cloudy skies, roughly 32 degrees with Potential snow on the way every single day. It's either raining or snowing. I got my glasses on because I've been kind of sick and under the weather and uh, head cold. Kenny tells me to quit being a baby. So that's the update from Ken's Corner. It's not a man cold, it's the flu. I'm dying. Man cold. Whatever. So, guys, I'm with Carly. We're in the car. And actually, I just had to run into Office Depot or Office Max. What is the store called? Office Max. Because uh, we have these cards printed that we put inside of our Ivy and Sage purchases. If you guys don't know, we have a clothing boutique. Link down in the description or go to ivyandsage.com. It's really weird. They printed like some of them on bigger paper with an outline around it. And then I like these smaller ones better though. So I don't know. They did half this way and half that way. I had ordered these online. I ordered these and then we have like these stickers that we use to like when we wrap the packages, which if some of you guys ordered from us already, you didn't have these nicer cards and the stickers because they were being ordered. We just had these cards that we had printed at home and they definitely didn't look as nice. And, um, it's weird because we were working on the website for Ivy and Sage. We were taking photos for the clothes. Like all of that stuff was like this whole long process that went on for weeks and weeks. But yet we didn't have our like logo created. We didn't have our font created. I didn't know. It's like I had the whole website designed and I was like, what do I want this to look like? So I feel like I wanted to get like a look of a feel for what the whole website was gonna look like, what like color. I knew I wanted kind of like a pinky color cause pink's my favorite. I kept sending like different samples to Carly like do you like this one, do you like that one? And we finally picked this font. I forget what the font is called but I think it ended up turning out really cute. And then the circle with this font with the pink outline is what our stickers look like for our packages. So anyways, so I called the store yesterday just to make sure the order was even being processed and they had my stickers done but they didn't have my cards done so I ended up having to like cancel my order online and then I just had them print them here at the store so it was this whole long mess and I remember being really irritated about it last night and then I had gone into Target and I was walking around shopping and I heard this guy um, talking to a family member or somebody on his cell phone he was walking like through the Christmas aisles and he was telling someone how he had lost his job and he's like yeah I, I got two more paychecks coming I'll be good to the end of the year but come 2019 I don't know what I'm gonna do and it just like sometimes when we want to complain about like these dumb silly little things like oh my cards weren't printed on time or whatever then things like that happen and you hear somebody's like uh, real life problem and it 
puts things into perspective and makes you realize that your problems aren't even that big of a deal. And then on that note, um, if you guys follow Blake on Instagram, I debated, you know, last night we didn't even really end our video, Carly and I, we shared the Target haul and then we never filmed again after that because shortly after um, we got a phone call that um, one of Blake's really close friends <clears throat> um, committed suicide. He posted about it on Instagram and I seen he turned the comments off. I wasn't even going to say anything but then it's like at the same time I know um, the funeral is like this Saturday and I mean it, uh, Blake's whole friend group, all of them, like he was part of um, you know his close friend group. So all of his friends that he hangs out with that you guys see like in the videos or on Instagram. Um, you know, are having to deal with this, and it's unfortunate. Carly said things were pretty rough at school today, right? Mm -hmm. um, even though he graduated with Blake last year, um, he has a brother and sister that go to school. They're in um, Chase's grade, but pretty much everybody knows who they are. They're a family. They have a lot of kids and pretty well-known name and family through our town and I can't even remotely imagine um you said a lot of people are crying and upset in school and just people probably feel lost and confused and you wish you could do something or say something my whole like reasoning even just for bringing this up is just to share like if anyone who's listening to this right at this moment ever has a problem whether it be big or small whatever it might be there's always somewhere that you can turn to to get help if you don't feel like your friends are there for you or your family's not there for you there are websites there are hotlines there are places you can go and reach out to talk to professionals there's free services out there you don't have to be alone there's always someone there that's gonna help you and be willing to listen Right? Mm-hmm. Anything else? No. Speechless today? Sure. Been a rough day, huh? Rough day at school. Blake didn't go to work today. Rough day for him. I actually think he's sleeping right now because he was with friends last night and I think most of them were up the majority of the night and didn't get sleep. And so my heart goes out to family, friends, everyone involved and uh, just know if things I don't know seem kind of weird it's almost it made me feel like all day today like everything that I think to share or say just seems so irrelevant compared to something like this all right guys so we are down in the uh, Ivy and Sage warehouse workshop. Uh, workshop that's what we're calling it uh, we actually got all of our new inventory, so Carly's helping me go through. Right now, she's wearing one of the new, like, jackets. It's like Sherpa material is what they call it. It's super soft. Show them she's got the small one on right now. It's kind of cropped, it's shorter. If you like your jackets on the bigger side, I would go up one size, but they're really cute. Uh, which ones, which pieces do you like of our new inventory? I would have to see them all. You want to see them all? Well, we have some striped shirts. We have another yellow mustard colored shirt, not sweater. We had a sweater last time and they sold out really fast. We have these white shirts that actually have like gray sleeves. That's really cute. We have a black cardigan sweater, a turquoise. I don't know if this is cardigan or just a sweater. And the exciting part is we have size extra large in some of these items this time. We heard a lot of your guys' comments, are read, I should say not heard, a lot of your guys' comments in our big announcement video when we first started talking about the store, and one of the biggest comments you guys had was why aren't we offering bigger sizes? Now I know extra large isn't necessarily gonna help all of you out, that some of you even wanted larger sizes than that, so we're gonna do our best to kind of um, grow our inventory if that's what you want to call it and expand our sizes but just keep in mind we're a small business 
I know a lot of people think, oh, you know, for our first launch, there were a couple of comments that said like we should have hired a professional photographer. We should have had more than just Carly modeling the clothes so we could see some different body types. And all those things are coming in time. That is my dream is to grow this business and have people working for us, have people model the clothes other than just Carly so we can get some different beautiful faces on our website and expand sizes. I hope to have swimwear, shoes, purses, plus sizes, like uh, all, all of the things that you guys commented. There wasn't really anything that was commented that I didn't agree with. You just have to understand when we started the business, I gave myself a very small startup budget. I borrowed money from kind of like my Our Family Nest business account, almost like a loan, if you want to call it. And um, we are starting slowly. We didn't go out and buy a thousand pieces of inventory and cross our fingers that the stuff would sell. We wanted to start out small, kind of get a taste for what kind of stuff you guys like. And we definitely were able to tell that after our first launch, um, after two weeks, knowing what you guys loved and what you didn't. So that's been really helpful. And anything else I'm not thinking of? And same goes for the space of where we're running this business. I hope to be able to expand into a larger warehouse. I'm hoping to expand into opening even a storefront or even if it's just a warehouse, maybe having like, um, I don't know what you would want to call it, like open warehouse sale when we're launching new inventory or trying to even get rid of old inventory. Um, I don't know. Ask any other questions if you guys have any comments and uh, I'll try to answer them in the next time we talk about this. But I'm really, really pleased with the way everything's been going. Selling out of more than half of the items has been really exciting. So like I said, we're kind of just starting out slowly and really at the end of the day, I was talking to a friend about this recently. What I'm really trying to do is inspire other women, other young girls, whether you're Carly's age on up to however old it is that you want to work on making your dreams come true. And that is the fact that anything that you set your mind to, as small or as big as the idea is, you can work hard and make those dreams come true. And for me, this was kind of just the next thing that I wanted to work on in my life, the next challenge I wanted to present myself, and um, the fact that it's doing so well and growing, and I think of like where things could be a year from now is just really exciting, and I hope it inspires you guys to uh, know that you don't have to have, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars or investors or, you know, unlimited funds to be able to start out a business really really small and then grow it from there so so i just came up with the idea that scrunchies are pretty popular and we should get scrunchies so you think we should get scrunchies too yeah. and those what are those hair ties called they're those called twisty something i like those but in my opinion scrunchies are more popular you want to get those mm -hmm. all right i'll check in to see if we can get some of those so, Carly's helping me. Do you enjoy this, Carl? Yes, Master. <laughs> Who's the boss of this establishment? Me or you? Me. You? Yep. She makes me work so hard. <laughs> so, we're hoping to have everything, like all the new inventory, on the website by Sunday. So, stay tuned on social media. Yeah, and go to ivyandsage.com and sign up for our mailing list and you'll be the first to be notified whenever we launch new items. Hi guys, my name's Molly. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Our Family Nest. I hope you liked the vlog. Question of the day is, what's your favorite part about Christmas? Mine is definitely waking up on Christmas Day and opening the presents with the family. Merry Christmas from North Carolina!